Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, getting close to crunch time and we got a lot to do. We've got so much going on with the race car right now because I really have been dialing back. Work has been so nuts um, that I have not really done a lot of car stuff. I mentioned in another video, I want to show you guys and I want to do a really good video on the car. And it, I'm super stoked on the GTRs finally back. But unfortunately, we had a couple of things pop up with the car. It needs to go back and just get tweaked. It's normal, that car was a full build, just like this car was a full build and isn't perfect and I've been tweaking it as I've gone. Um, a Skyline that is a little bit more complicated, turbo and all that good stuff. Everything was redone in that car, so I, I don't blame the builders. I blame the fact that when you have a car like that, it's gotta go back every couple, you know, until it's perfect, so. There's very few times where you pull like an entire car apart, change every bolt, nut, and hose on the car and it's perfect as soon as you start it so um long story short that car has got to go back so we got to concentrate on the integra and figure out what we're going to get done there's going to be a new car coming very soon for a different type of racing that we're going to be doing this year which i'm stoked on and i think you guys will be too because we had a car on the channel that was very similar and we're probably going to be going back to something like that in the near future so the biggest thing that we need to do is get this sunroof out. Um, and the reason why that is, is because it's literally the biggest thing. <laughs> um, it's, uh, you know, a few bolts and we're going to have to kind of slide it past the cage, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can notice we've already pulled out the gauge cluster, which really isn't a gauge cluster. It's this bezel made by, I believe this is Mako is the company uh, out of um, Australia. And uh, we had a FuelTech FT450 in the car, just switched to the FT550. I had my tune switched over to this. Um, gonna have to have the car retuned anyway because we're changing some stuff on the motor, the gearing, all that good stuff. I wanna make sure that we're utilizing all the power that we're actually making. So, um, and then we got to do all the suspension stuff. So we got to get to the car to the point where it can go to the places that it needs to go. Sunroof out, suspension replaced, um, interior cleaned and painted because we got to finish the inside of this. I'm going to document all the work that we're doing going forward on this car so you guys can see what it takes. The interior on this floor was so painstakingly terrible pulling the sound editing material out. So many people were like, oh, just use dry ice and do this, that, and the other thing. Trust me when I tell you this, it was like, it was like somebody took a blowtorch to it and melted it to the floor. It was the worst thing I've ever done. Um, and then you see other people, uh, a guy who races with us, Eric Atiel, if, you, if you've heard of him, he showed a video of him redoing his chassis number two for his uh, GLTC car. And he literally just parked it outside. He lives up in Ohio and he was able to like crack pieces off. Um, I actually have a dry ice place right around the corner. I got some dry ice, threw it on here. It literally did nothing. Um, some bigger chunks came off, but then it left like a residue. So it took me so long to get that stuff out of here. You guys would have been pretty bored watching that. So got a couple things we got to do today and get this stuff out. These are always my favorite. For one, You'll never find a Honda that's 30 years old that has like new OEM screws. These things are awesome. Got to keep a few of these. You got two here. This is probably, oh, one of these. We'll pull that out. That's always fun. We took that one out yesterday, but... Let me grab a couple more things and we'll get this out of here. All 
getting that out is just stupid and a bear, but it's out. Scratched up the top of the cage a little bit, but that's all right. That'll probably get repainted anyway. We've got full sunroof out. This thing weighs a ton. So just one more thing that's getting weight out of this car, lightening it up. And we got to put a carbon plug in. Now we're waiting on that. It's got to get finished. Um, I'm probably going to have DP put a couple tabs on here, extend this so you can see. It's easy to mount all the way around aside from the back because it wasn't necessary to have that there. But we've got all this excessive wiring that's coming out. More weight that's going to be saved. I'm excited. So the next step is really going to be cleaning up all this interior, fixing some stuff. So as you know, we've got this little bit of rot on the outside, and then you can see we have a little bit of daylight coming through here. Um, I wanna get this all sealed up and cleaned up. That way when we paint it, um, you know, everything's good. And we're not just painting over like rust spots and that sort of thing. Make it a little bit more solid. I knew this wasn't the most ideal chassis when I got into it. Um, my silver car is way nicer than this one, which we're also gonna be putting together this weekend. Uh, we're picking up the wheels that are going on that car to move it around a little bit. I have a few extra sets of these, obviously, um, but I want that car to be set up slightly different than this one for more of a streetish car that I'll be able to drive. I really thought about buying another chassis to make into a street car um, or not to make it a street car, but like an S2000 or that sort of thing, which still might be coming. Um, but the goal was to try to get rid of this car and then pick up something else. And uh, unfortunately, that car is still with us. Not unfortunately. I love that car. It's a, it's a really nice car. And uh, it never is a bad thing to have laying around when I want to take out a nice little fun car. Uh, we got a couple things that we got to work on with this car still. Um, the main thing with this car is just sucking it up and putting a good trans in it. I think once a good trans in this, which that's in this car, it's going to make it the world of a difference to drive. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll keep it around, maybe not. Um, but there's some other projects that I want to get to that require this thing to go. So, you know, that's pretty much it. We've got some other things to do. I wanted to just make this quick video because I want you to to just start some pro progress. I don't show you a lot of the things that I do with this car. And uh, I think we're gonna do um, some small projects going forward, to just try to get this thing done. I know this seems like it's not a big deal, but just pulling something like this, getting progress um, is the biggest thing. Cause we're gonna have to have the sun, this the windshield taken out. Now the rules have changed for Grid Life Club TR and one of the rules is you can have Lexan. And I'm thinking about if I'm pulling out this glass anyway, why not put a Lexan, Lexan windshield in? Um, and the quality ones are way better than this. And what that does is with a race car, you wanna to try to get as much weight down low as possible. If you ever talk, if you ever hear about like F1 racers and race cars in general, they're always trying to get weight down low, even if it's ballast weight, which isn't ideal. You want functional weight, but um, you know, we can, we can work around that. So the whole goal is to get the weight lower, make this car more well balanced. And, uh, yeah, I'm stoked. This car is going to be so awesome this year. It was a lot of fun this past year, but this upcoming year, this thing is just going to be an absolute monster, um, with everything that we're doing. I'm stoked. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know we didn't get too much progress on. Remember, if you need any parts, I've got headlights, I've got a diffuser, um, and by the diffuser, I mean a splitter. I've got the 98 to 01 front bumper with an SP1 lip. Um, if I don't sell this anytime soon, the SP1 lip's gonna go on the silver car. It is actually silver paint on there. Um, I just had it wrapped black. So you just take the black wrap off, fix the top of that lip and uh, get it on the silver car. And we got a nice lip, so. If you guys don't want it oh well we got some other stuff coming on headlights this weekend um i finally got the epoxy to 
um, put the resin all over the headlight so you can smooth it out. Also gives it some rigidity and strength because uh, 3D printing is not the best. So that's it. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a great weekend. Enjoy.